Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified doctor of naturopathy, Dr. Stephen Cabral, shares with you exactly how you can reverse aging, take back your health, and live a life full of energy and passion with new 20-minute episodes every single day to keep you healthy and engaged. Now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. All right, everybody, we are back. Episode 2898 today of The Cabral Concept. Excited to get into today's show. We're actually going to be going over some interesting research, heavy metals in our food and its connection to children. So you'll want to check that one out. We're also going to go over possible explanations of why young children almost never get sick from COVID-19 virus. We'll go over that. We'll go over our old school book of the week. I actually looked, I'm in Maine this week, so I have my full library of thousands of books uh, in my office in my old library that I brought up from Boston. And I want to go over a book that I haven't actually talked about on the show, but Fasting is becoming more and more popular. And this is a book written 30 years ago, or almost 30 years ago, that I want to bring you here today. Excellent book, whether you're in the health field or not, for learning more about overall healthy eating and fasting. Uh, then we'll go over a product review, not a product that I've used, but actually one of my private wellness clients used this temporarily to help them with bruxism or TMJ-based symptoms. And I'll be sharing that, of course, recommendation with you today and also how long maybe you should use it for. All right, but but to start the show, we always want to go over quick updates for the week. Uh, so I do hope, of course, you've been tuning into the Cabral concept all week long. If you haven't, a lot of this has been about mindset. A lot of it has been about motivation, of course, specific uh, tactical based plans and strategies as well. But as we are heading now into the second week of the new year, I want to make sure that this is the year that you make it count. Like you make sure that this is the year that you reach your potential, not just the goals that you've set for yourself in previous years, but goals that you know that if you began to take action on them, whether you fully achieve them or not, your life would be dramatically different. So let's make this the year that we step into our personal power, take back better control of our life. All right, so one of the shows based around this topic was how to sprint a marathon. So that was Monday's show. That was episode 2894, how to sprint a marathon. You know, it, it kind of makes no sense when you think about it that way, but truthfully, we have these massive goals. That's the marathon of life. But how do we move from action to action, smaller goal, cumulative goals that eventually leads to the larger ones? And I talk about that in episode 2894. Episode 2895 was the seven big benefits of consuming collagen. So you want to check out that show since collagen obviously is one of the more popular nutritional supplements out there. What to look for, what to use, and the benefits you may enjoy the most from it. And it is not a protein powder. I make that very clear in the show. Yes, there's protein in it, uh, but not the best protein powder you could be using, but you use it for other reasons. And I reviewed that in episode 2895. 2896 was don't follow this diet and advice this year. Really important that you don't fall for the same diet year after year or what's typically marketed out there in the media. And then yesterday's show was five mental ways or mindset ways to improve heart rate variability. This is important because the more you improve your heart rate variability, the better you recover, the more rejuvenation takes place, the more you move out of fight or flight. All right, so check out those shows. They're all at stephencabral.com slash podcast. Now let's get into our product review of the week. Again, this one I learned about from a private wellness client. They used to have TMJ, temporal mandibular uh, jaw or joint-based issues. So when we look at this, uh, the TMJ, the joint would be basically right in front of the ear lobe and very close to um, essentially, yeah, right where the ear lobe is and the jaw actually connects. But a lot of people, they may not have TMJ, but they do have teeth grinding at night or they have some type of clenching of the jaw, clenching of the teeth. Not only does that wear away the enamel on the teeth, but it leads to tremendous stress on the jaw. It can end up in headaches, uh, migraines. It can end up with a uh, bite-based malformation, many other issues that are not ideal for long-term health. So what we want to work on is a holistic reasoning for why that might be happening. So typically in children, we look at, is there a uh, improper alignment of the teeth. So we're looking at that. We're also looking at children and adults, are there higher levels of stress? And we're typically then supplementing with magnesium, magnesium citrate, 
calming magnesium, whatever the body needs in order to balance, maybe take you out of that fight or flight a bit. We'll use Adrenal Soothe. We might use some liquid melatonin. Uh, we'll use things that we use in our sleep-based protocol. But then we're also mixing it with lifestyle. So we're doing gratitude journaling before bed. We're do using blue light blockers. We're doing um, the entire three, two, one sleep-based routine. I have a lot of podcasts on that, and I'll link them up here today on episode 2898. But while you're working the de-stress protocol for teeth grinding or lockjaw or whatever you want to call it, what I want you to think about is, so the de-stress protocols, the diet, the exercise, the stress reduction, the toxin removal, the rest, the emotional balance, the scientifically backed supplements, and the success mindset, right? So all of those things I talk about in the rain barrel effect, but what can you do in the short term to stop with the bruxism or to stop with the TMJ joint-based pain. Well, there is a device that I started to research and look up and it might be a good short-term, a short-term potential um, helpful appliance. So typically right now, if people are teeth grinding at night, so they don't wear away their teeth enamel and, and cause issues with their uh, dental-based hygiene, they wear a full mouth guard. The problem with the full mouth guard is that it really builds up bacteria under the mouth guard, so in and around the mouth guard. It can dry out the mouth. It can lead you to sleeping with your mouth open instead of uh, nasal breathing. Another issue uh, is when that bacteria builds up, it can create tartar or plaque or an more anaerobic-based bacteria. So not ideal that saliva is meant to move in and out through the um, gums and your salivary glands the entire night. So although you know, we don't love that, um, there is a device that's much smaller. And it just covers essentially the two front teeth and it stops you from biting down clenching down on your teeth for the for the night. So although this has been very helpful for many people sleeping again with TMJ-based pain or teeth grinding or teeth clenching, what I want to share with you is probably it's not the best long-term solution. And the reason is that it can actually change your bite to a degree and you're not finding out what the underlying root cause is to the teeth grinding or teeth clenching. So this appliance is actually, it's called the NTI appliance or the NTI night guard. There's actually quite a bit of scientific research behind it and I can link that up as well. It's called the NTI-TSS device for the therapy of bruxism, uh, temporomandibular disorders and headache. And then it goes through a, a qualitative systematic review of the literature. And it shows that there's actually some great benefit to a lot of individuals, including one of my private wellness clients. So, and again, they used it for a few months while overcoming uh, their particular imbalances in their body, and then they didn't need it anymore. So that is my recommendation. There's a lot of things that we can use through conventional medicine, through technology, uh, even pharmaceuticals when used in a short-term life-saving condition that you may not use in the long term. So this is something that you get from your dentist. They're going to fit you for it, make sure that it's uh, the right fit for you, and also make sure that it's safe for you to use as well. So check out your local dentist, holistic dentist, may have it as well, and it's called the NTI Night Guard. I'll link it up again. All links will be at stephencabal.com slash 2898. Okay, let's get to our book review of the week. Again, this is, I was here. I love having my library. It's so amazing to be able to look at um, all the books that I've been fortunate enough to be able to accumulate and read over the years. Uh, they are dispersed all over the place, uh, but for the most part, I have one central library that most of them uh, congregate, hang out at. And so you can see this book it is, I mean, it's completely dog-eared. This book is from 1995. I probably read it somewhere around 2005. I would say about 10 years after it came out or so. It's by Dr. Joel Furman, MD. Uh, Dr. Joel Furman has been an advocate for a plant-based vegan diet for decades now. And I'm not saying that you need to take up a plant-based vegan diet. I'm not saying that by uh, any way, shape, or form. However, he has a book here on fasting. And this book is very well done. It's called A Medical Doctor's Program for Conquering Disease. And it's the precise diet and fasting programs to relieve headache, hypoglycemia, rheumatoid arthritis, asthma, heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, colitis, psoriasis, lupus, uterine fibroids, uh, using fasting to lose weight, how to start, what to expect, how to introduce food, 
foods to maintain maximum benefits, how to work with a physician for a longer fast, meaning more than three days. Now, I also wanna link up my fast that I just did. I did a water fast for seven days, plus an extended seven day fast, transitioning back in to juices, you can do soups, you can do smoothies, uh, and then into whole food, what to use there as well, because you wanna be careful reintroducing food. It's actually, it's actually more dangerous typically reintroducing the food than it is cutting out of your diet for a week or so. So if you're in the health-based field, you're simply hearing more and more about longer-term fasts, I would definitely check this book out. But there, and this book isn't long, it's say probably what, 200 pages, that's it. And what I want to do though, is also link up a couple of other podcasts, one on a functional medicine detox, one on the four types of uh, fasts. So basically you've got your daily fast, your weekly fast, your quarterly fast, and then once a year fast. So I'll link that up for you today at episode 2898. And then I'll also link up my 14 day extended fast, quick takeaways, 20 minute show, and you'll be able to hopefully gather some information. Then if you still wanna go deeper, uh, this is a book that I think could be great to add to your archives, your health-based books. And remember, it doesn't mean that you need to go plant-based. It doesn't even mean that you need to do a week or two week or whatever it might be longer fast, but getting that information into your head and then using that as a foundation with all the other knowledge that you have can be extremely helpful. All right, so I'm gonna link that up. Again, Dr. Joel Furman, Fasting and Eating for Health is the name of the book. All right, let's go over now our research for the week. The first one, heavy metals in our food are most dangerous for kids. That is the name of the article, and let's link up now to it. This one is out of, well, this literally just came out 14 days ago, so just two weeks ago, very recent research, and it came out of the Society for Risk Analysis. Okay. Uh, published, again, just about two weeks ago. Here's what it says. The problem of foodborne metal contamination has taken on a new urgency, thanks in part to the 2021 U.S. Congressional Report detailing high levels of metals found in infant food pulled off gross grocery food shelves. More recently, high levels of lead were discovered in children's fruit puree pouches. Now, two new studies in 2023 provide... An into 2024, provide information on the correlation between exposure to heavy metals in food and the risk of cancers and other serious health risks. The findings will be presented at the 2023 Society for Risk Analysis Annual Conference. So keep in mind, we know lead is dangerous. There's no doubt about it, but they're not just saying lead. They're also saying trace traces, so not a large amount, traces of dangerous heavy metals such as lead arsenic, and cadmium are found in common foods from rice and cereals to nuts, to nuts and spinach. And this was done uh, in conjunction with, uh, let's see, Felicia Wu out of Michigan State University, who is a food scientist and incoming president of the SRA. And so what they're finding is that there's implications with these heavy metals in foods to diseases specifically in children, causing higher risk for lung, kidney, bladder, stomach, and brain-based cancers. In addition to that, higher scores for non-cancer risks in children and as well as adults for reproductive issues, neurological, renal, which is kidney, uh, and respiratory, which is lungs. So all of these things are typically found in the soil. The problem is they're literally in the soil, and then what they do is they're either higher levels in the food themselves, um, or there's some type of cross-contamination, but these specifically can be higher in the foods themselves. So what do we do? Well, it's pretty simple and, and pretty straightforward. You can do a finger prick right at home called the complete heavy metal toxicity test, or you can do a few snips of hair, and that will look for lead, mercury, arsenic, as well as aluminum. So those, those are the tests that I run with my own family as well. And then if you find there's any elevated levels of heavy metals, of course, you can speak to your doctor. I'm not saying not to do that. Uh, again, I can't give you any medical advice, medical treatment plans, medical cures, or medical diagnosis. But what we do is we do a heavy metal detox every single year. It's different than a functional medicine detox. Typically, you do that first. In children, you're not doing a heavy, uh, you're not doing a functional medicine detox, but you can do a heavy metal detox. And that's exactly what we've done with my uh, two daughters as well. Very simple, it's three products. Uh, it's super easy. Biofilm disruptor to remove it from any biofilms in the gut because that's where heavy metals can congregate. Um, an anti-metal herbal product, which helps to bind and get rid of those metals. And then you've got a, a 
binder, which helps remove all of that from the body as well. So it's very easy. Um, you just, you're simply using a lower dose. These heavy metal detoxes come with the children's dosing guide as well. I can't link up to the heavy metal detox that we use. I can link up to the two labs. So the minerals and metals test, that's the hair test. And then the, uh, complete, uh, heavy metal toxicity test. That's the blood spot. And, uh, and urine, and that one I can link up to as well. The heavy metal detox we do is just by Equalife. Uh, I formulate that along with our science advisory team. Uh, you can find that at stephencabral.com slash shop. Even if you don't want to get it there, that's totally fine. You can work with your integrative health practitioner. Uh, you can work with a local naturopathic doctor, and you could always get what they believe in and want to uh, share as well. And of course, the reason we I just linked over to it at Equal Life uh, is that you can open source it. So we share with you all the ingredients. We share with you exactly what we do, uh, what's proven specifically by science and also in real world practice. All right, so definitely be on the lookout for that. I mean, this is one of those things, you know, better safe than sorry. Simple at home lab testing. You can find the lab test I use at stephengabral.com. Um, and then uh, you can use a guaranteed protocol to work for you and you can check that out as well. All right. All right. Research number two for the day and for the week is these research findings could explain why young kids rarely get sick from COVID-19. And I'm going to link up this study. This was very recent as well. I know that we're a couple years removed, but the science takes years to catch up as to what we knew even a couple years back. So this was published about two months ago. This was out of Stanford University Medicine. And the summary is children's noses pack a punch that could help explain COVID-19's typically mild course in young kids. Researchers hope to parlay that nasal magic, in air quotes, uh, into increased protection for adults. Okay, so basically, here are the stats. Um, Although kids under five represent about 6% of the U.S. population, they account for fewer than 0.1% of COVID-19 deaths in this country. Um, and then they go on to say almost every infectious disease, the most, the most vulnerable populations are at the extremes of age, the very young and the very old. But then it goes on to say, but young children are not at risk as much. Now, I'm not saying they're not at risk at all. Again, I'm, I'm sharing with you just the statistics out of Stanford University. Uh, but what it is saying is that usually like with the flu, be the very old or the very young that are most susceptible, but not with COVID-19 or a SARS-CoV-2 based coronavirus. And here's what they found. They found that the antibodies in younger children, I'm going to give you the direct quote. So the mucous membranes of the nasal cavity, we saw plenty of these very inflammation promoting proteins. Among them is one called alpha interferon, which has a noted knack for shutting down viral replication in infected cells. So here's what happens. Essentially, uh, COVID-19 is typically transmitted through the nasal passages, okay? Not, not usually through the mouth, not usually through the eyes or another way. Um, so you breathe it in, it's airborne. And when you do, in younger children, they have more of these, I'm going to call it viral canceling cells or proteins that knock down the virus to not allow it to replicate as quickly. Now, there are the theories that they may not have as many uh, receptors for SARS-CoV-2 in their body. And so the virus is not allowed to replicate as quickly. There's a lot of, of um, theories. One is that they don't produce the, the higher amounts of inflammation. They're better at balancing inflammation. But this latest one is one that they're looking at because they're actually seeing the science is actually able to track it in the body and how it doesn't replicate as quickly and it gets, actually gets knocked down in the nasal passages faster. So now what they're trying to do is say, hey, can we replicate these cells naturally in some way for older adults? So it'll be interesting the what they're working on. I, I know that they're working on a nasal spray right now. You probably have to do it though multiple times per day. And I don't know if there'd be heavy metals again added to this or not. Time will only tell, but I will certainly keep you updated on this research. And if you'd like to learn more, I'll link that for you as well. That'll be linked right up to Stanford Medicine. And the research just came out about two months ago. And let's see, it's called multi 
multiomics analysis of mucosal and systemic immunity to SARS-CoV-2 after birth. And it's in the Cell Journal. All right, everybody, that is today's show for all the research for the book review, Fasting Eating for Health, as well as the NTI mouth guard device. Head on over to stephencabral.com slash 28 98 for all the details. Again, that's stephencabral.com slash 2898. Have an amazing weekend coming up. I'll be back this weekend answering our community's questions on the Cabral host calls. Take care, everybody. Before you go, I wanted to share a personal story with you. The real reason I began to get well finally is because I figured out what was wrong with me. And that might seem pretty obvious, but I went from doctor to doctor for over two years before discovering at-home functional medicine lab testing. These are the labs that enabled me to finally figure out what was wrong with my hormones, blood sugar, electrolytes, and gut health. And once I knew what was wrong, I could then follow a proven plan in order to rebalance my body from the inside out. This is why I believe so strongly in functional medicine lab testing and why I've made it my mission to share these labs with the world. Now at equa.life, you can order an at-home lab test or a lab bundle for you and your family and be able to complete it within the week. Plus, the equal life difference is that you're not left to try to read and figure out these labs on your own. We explain what your lab numbers mean, what they mean in the much bigger picture, and then how to go about rebalancing your body in order to heal. To see our full selection of lab tests or to set up a free lab selection call to find out what labs may be best for you, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. And do remember, we ship these all over the world. To find out more and to set up your free lab selection call, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. That's E-Q-U-I dot L-I-F-E forward slash labs.